Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to take a look at 2025 theme. I know, I know, I can't believe it either. It feels like the 2024 theme is just getting off the ground and a lot of adoption is still you know, yet to be seen in the WordPress industry. I actually really love 2024. I use it a lot in uh, training examples for WordPress. I was uh, a bit of a skeptic in the early days of 2024's design developments, really looking looking at it as um, more of like a portfolio and blog type of view as it was being designed and developed. I'm getting the same vibes with 2025. Literally six hours ago is when this blog post came out on Make introducing 2025 and the team behind it. Um, so very, very early days. Love 2024. Really interested to see where 2025 is going to go. So there's not really much for me to dive into in this video in terms of like using the theme, but a few important threads I'd like you to pull on as WordPress fans, uh, advocates, evangelists, developers, designers, is to really get involved very early, like today, with the upcoming design and development of 2025, because you can really help shape its future. Um, short of this blog post where you can scroll down to the bottom and leave your comments on make.wordpress.org like a bunch of folks already have, you can explore, uh, number one, the GitHub repo where this is going to live. I downloaded it, installed it, gives me absolutely nothing but a blank uh, template, like literally just text um, in, the, in the theme because none of this design stuff has been actually put to code yet. Um, however, you can skip over to the Figma account or the Figma link where 2025 is being designed uh, live right in front of our eyes, just like when 2024 was, you could actually see, especially as it was coming down to, you know, the finish line, you could actually see people moving stuff around, designing as uh, right in front of your eyes. Um, and that's the kind of well, great thing we have here in open source WordPress, love it or hate it, comes with its bruises and its scars, but it's still a fantastic way to see how this stuff is being made watching them build it, watching them design it, and giving your feedback, uh, whether it's on the blog post, uh, but more importantly, maybe in GitHub. Uh, although I don't know if you can comment directly in the Figma file. I'd be too afraid to do that. <laughs> I wouldn't want my stuff in the way of the true designers here. But what you can do is punch in to some of the early days of the templates and patterns that uh, this team has started to develop. And if we just look at the different types of uh, blog templates that we're seeing here. Again, this stuff is very early on. This would be a single post template. All of this is really leading to, you know, your standard WordPress install of a, of a blogger type feel uh, and a portfolio type feel. 2024, even though I criticize it for being fairly on the more creative end of design, actually kind of can be turned into like that business uh, of like software business, uh, professional, uh, executive type of business, something that needs more of like that premium kind of feel. I think 2024 is fantastic for that. Uh, all of this stuff can be looked at here. Again, this stuff is, this is sort of just off the cuff because this just was released moments ago. Um, but again, it, it's look, it looks good. Although I will also say that it looks much more on the creative side, which I'm not, you know, it's, I'm not, not a bad thing. Uh, and, and a lot of the stuff will take shape as, uh, as we see it move forward. So the Figma file, templates, different patterns that they have um, for ideas. Again, very early on, you can actually see some folks uh, leaving comments and clicking through here. Again, this is much more of that modern-ish, maybe magazine kind of style, like this vibe right here makes me feel like modern magazine publisher kind of thing. Um, I don't really see, and I'm biased because I've been, I've been doing a WordPress news site for so long. <laughs> like I'm looking for news-ish, newsy homepage, lots of different categories of content, main call to actions, sponsorship sections, you know, something that I always thought would be fairly straightforward to solve um, isn't uh, because, you know, you got to be thinking more of like media publisher kind of um, mindset for the stuff that I need. Dynamic archive pages, like different archive pages for different categories. You know, certain categories look one way, like, you know, very popular categories look one way. You know, not so popular categories look another. Call to action, sponsorship, stuff like that. Podcasts, media, videos, courses, right? There's a lot when you start thinking about your, your new age uh, WordPress content site. So, 
I like what I'm seeing here, but again, it just doesn't feel like it's um, going to fit the type of thing that I'm looking for. But I, like I said, six hours ago, six hours ago, this was posted. And I'm just bringing it to you here so you can see it and really uh, start diving in early, just like me. Uh, style variations, not much there yet either, but you kind of start to see like the important thing here is to zoom into all the different style variations on a single page. You can see how buttons are going to look. Uh, comments, pull quotes, lists, all of that, you know, traditional stuff, full with, uh, you know, in uh, with the content box, that kind of thing, all that stuff being planned out now. Um, so, hey, it's looking good uh, so far, but we will see as time marches on. Um, like I said, I tried playing with it on the playground. Doesn't do anything. If we activate it, visit the site. Here's what we got. <laughs> Again, there's no code in that repo that's actually styling any of these themes uh, right now. But if we look at 2024 and we go to the editor and the patterns, uh, the patterns I, I, I really come to appreciate over time. Like this is really a, a, a good, you know, home base for a, a business type site. And I think with plugins like Twentig, which I've covered on the on this channel before, you can really start to take 2024 and evolve it into a different look and feel with 2024 as the base. I'm really interested to see what happens to default themes over the next few years. Because like I said, I mean, 2024 was a fantastic theme to really exercise the new block-based uh, features, the site editor, you know, a lot of these patterns and building with patterns and having something pretty good out of the box for free. Uh, Really interested to see how we play with these default themes as time marches on. Like, do we just give up on, on 2024, you know, as a theme? Uh, does it does it get left behind aside from maybe security uh, patches and updates and vulnerabilities, whatever? Um, or would we see more, you know, patterns and, and templates evolve for something like 2024, you know, if it's uh, popular and, and really getting an uptake? Um, because again, I, I still think there's plenty of life left in this. And maybe this is where the, Third-party ecosystem, again, steps in for core WordPress or automatic designers, whatever you want to call it, uh, to extend the life of these types of things, like we see with the Twentig plugin um, doing such as that. So let me know your thoughts. Very, very early days on 2025. Uh, we're getting into that time of year. Uh, WordCamp US next month, 2025, holidays, <laughs> Black Friday sales. And before you know it, it'll be state of the word 2024. And we'll be into, you know, deep into using 2025 as our default theme, WordPress 6.7. All of that fun stuff will be here very, very soon. While I have you, I'll do one bonus section in this uh, video for those of you that have stuck around. I want to show you uh, the future of posts, uh, managing posts inside of WordPress. I'm in the WordPress playground right now. If we go to dashboard, I turned on network access right there so I could install a plugin. And we will add the Gutenberg plugin. If you follow me on Twitter, X, you might have seen the video that I put out, just a quick little video. But if you install Gutenberg, don't forget, Gutenberg is a standalone plugin. If you want the latest and greatest of what's going to come to WordPress in the future, always run, well, don't always. <laughs> if you don't want to run it, don't run it. It's fine to run it, I think, in a production site as long as you're not turning on the experimental features that I'm going I'm to show you right now. But if you want to see the latest and greatest, run with Gutenberg installed and activated. Now I'll go into the experimental section and turn on the redesign posts dashboard. So just give that a check, save. And now if we click on posts, they have it tucked away right here. It's, it's not taking over the, the primary uh, post section here. This is, or what will be, the future of the post admin. Again, this is kind of sparse right now. I don't have a lot of blog posts here um, and I'm sure they'll evolve this over time. Like this might be something that you can drag and resize because on a really larger uh, resolution screen like this, um, I don't really need all of this real estate to preview the blog post, but I do like how you can click through and everything loads you know, pretty quick. I tested this with more blog posts earlier. Um, and if I punch into a bunch of blog posts, it, it goes pretty quick. Like right there, I just snapped right into the editor. I can start editing this blog post. When I go back, this is an interesting little thing. When you hover over the WordPress logo, it does this little square um, to bring us back to the post editor. And we can do 
all the stuff that we've always wanted to do, like filter by author, by status. Uh, we can do a grid view of all our blog posts, uh, bring this smaller or larger. This is what the future of WordPress uh, will look like. Don't know when it will come, uh, but certainly, probably with certain, it's going to be after 6.7, I'd imagine. Um, yeah, I'd imagine this is much further off than, than 6.7. Who knows? Um, they could be, uh, they could surprise us. So Gutenberg Experimental, turn on the new blog posts uh, view, and you can play with this uh, today. And again, go to GitHub, go to the Gutenberg repo. If you have feedback, now is the time to do it. Uh, I've said this before, we don't want to hear the complaints six months to a year from now. Like, here's your opportunity to see the stuff being developed like 2025, right inside of Figma, like Gutenberg, uh, po new post screen, right in GitHub. You can start providing that feedback. Doesn't mean it'll all get adopted or listened to, but rally around, um, you know, some common causes and we can get the stuff that, you know, is very important to us and very important to us as, as WordPress users, power users, average users. Um, you know, we do have a voice here. So again, congrats to the team kicking off 2025. Uh, looking forward to it. And as always, if you like today's video, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you want more. Let me know in the comments what you think about 2025. We'll see you in the next video.